Today I'm going to show you a house robbery script created by Mustache Dom. It has six tiers and unique features like the chance of a pet spawning with the ability to dispose of them, props to steal, a fence to sell items, and more. On the police side of things, you have the ability to deploy a smoke grenade and lock the house when you leave. I'll leave a link to the resource as well as a preview made by the creator in the description. And as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Before we get started, make sure you have the dependencies installed. The only one you should need to add is PSUI, which is used for the minigames and the hacks. So hit the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Then drag over what you downloaded and remove the main from the end. Then go to your server CFG and ensure the resource. Then hit file and save. The next thing you need to do is delete QB house to so go back to your resources and into the QB folder. Then find QB house robbery and delete it. Next you need to add the item so go back to the readme on GitHub and copy this block of code here. Then go back to your resources in the QB folder, go to QB core, shared, and then open the items.lua. Then scroll all the way down. And paste what you copied. Then hit file and save. The next thing to add are the images. So go back to the resource. And into the images folder. Then copy all the images in here using control A and control C. And go to whatever inventory you use. I'm using QB inventory, so I'll be going there. Then into the HTML folder in images, then paste what you copied. Next, you need to add the police alert for whatever dispatch you use. I'm using PS Dispatch, so I'll look up the export. They're just there, so I'll copy it. Then go back to the resource and into the client folder. Then open the main.lua. You need to add it here at line 28, so highlight all of this. Then paste what was copied. Then hit file and save. Lastly, we'll look at some of the options in the config, so go back to the resource. And open the config.lua. The first thing I'll start with is the ped. Here's what it looks like by default. If you want to change it, I left the link in the description to the site for ped models. So once you're there, scroll down and find a ped you like. Let's use this one. Then go back and replace the name. The next things are the chance of the pet spawning and the chance of them having weapon 1 which can be changed below. So I'm going to change this to 100. Then I'm going to change the shotgun to the pump shotgun. Then you have the amount of cops required to be on duty to rob the houses. I'm leaving it to 0 for testing. Then there's the option to use Ox's menu or not. By default it's false and QB menu is used. Next are the chance you won't receive any items, a timer for the shell to despawn, and a debug for the houses. That's followed by the minimum and maximum time it takes to rob the house. This is 5 seconds and this is 15. Then there's the chance to receive cash and the minimum and maximum you can receive. Next is the path where your images are. I'm using QB inventory, so I'll just change this part. Then there are some options for the fence, which is where you sell the items from the house. There's the location and weapons they'll have if you assault them. So I'll change this to the AP pistol. And the last part of this section is the option to use aux target. If you aren't using it, change it to false. 
The next section is for the rewards. It's separated into tiers, and the loot is separated based on what they are and where you get them. So this is for tier 1, tier 2, and so on. Then there's the items and amounts you can receive. And the next section is for the houses. You have the cores, which is where you target to get in, head, which is where the ped spawns, the tier of the house, and the inside cords, which is where you target to get outside. Then you have the loot options, the type, their locations, and their props. If you want to create more houses, there are instructions in the comment out text. The last section here is for the fence or black market. You have the items you can sell with their minimum and maximum values and a success chance. As stated in the commented out text, if you assault the pen, they'll try to kill you. After you've made changes, be sure to hit file and save, then start your server and test it out. So I'm back in the server now. This is actually Shooter McGaiman's server, who was kind enough to help me with the showcase. So let's get started with tier one. I will mention you do need lockpicks. I'll go ahead and get started. All right, so go ahead and start looting the place. And as you can see, once you successfully loot, the props disappear. Alright, another cool feature is the ability to dispose of the body. You do need to have a knife out and just start out the pen. And he's gone. Now you can leave the house and re-enter assuming the police haven't locked it down. All right, and he locked the house so you can't re-enter again. You'll have to break in uh, once more. So I'll go through one house from each tier, starting with this tier two house. You're an idiot. Stupid jerk!
You ignorant fool. So I'm at a tier 5 house now, you will need the house hacking laptop. So I'm at a tier 6 house now, you will need the mansion hacking laptop. I'm at the fence now with items to sell. How much they sell for is based on the amount you set in the config. So go ahead and see him. And it shows a list of everything we can sell. So I'll sell this. Okay, so now we've sold some items. And if you do attack him, he will try to kill you. So go ahead and punch him. That'll be all for the video. If you enjoyed and this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.